now we have to write the second function and in this function we have to consider one problem and the problem is if someone wants to have a fixed amount of output just imagine that if someone wants to have 100 die if they are putting any amount and they want to have 100 die as an output but in the previous function what the output we are getting is not fixed whatever amount you will put you will get a die but it's not fixed that how much die you will get although you can calculate but that's the topic of the letter part and that's the second function we're going to write which give us the fixed amount of output so exact input string and in that we have to pass two data we have to pass the unt amount out so how much output we want and the other one is going to be unt amount in maximum it should be external return and we want to have a return which is a amount in and now we have to follow the same structure which we have follow above we have to approve the contract so we'll call it safe transfer from and that's what we going to pass with nine it will go to the message.sender then we have to pass the contract this and the value so amount in maximum that's the safe transfer form now let's have to uh, approve one we have to pass the token we have to pass the address is going to be the this and the value is going to be the amount in maximum so that's the approving let's come down and now we have to work on the struct which actually is a pram so we're going to use our swap router and that we have this method call mm. the method name is output single pram memory pram and we'll say is swap router exact output simply copy this one because that's the one thing same thing we have to type here and inside this we're going to pass the struct means all the data so we have to pass this token so simply copy this the same data we have to pass copy this and simply paste here and again this time what we have to do is the token in is going to be the width token out is going to be the die fees everything would be the same and here we have to do the changes not here here so this is the amount in instead of this amount in, we have to type amount amount out we are getting an error and this will become the let's simply select remove this one and copy and paste here so amount out minimum so that's the only two changes you have to do and the rest would be the same so let's see we are getting an error and that's coming from where so maybe i'm having some spelling mistake so let's check so it's good okay we have to provide the comma and now you can see we don't have any error everything's looking fine and right now we are getting this warning because we haven't used that variable so we have to use it so that looks fine our struct is ready now let's come down we have to do the transfer so amount in swap router dot exact exact output single and in that we have to pass the prom pram sorry and here we have to do the checks when the transaction is happening if amount in is less than amount in maximum then we want to do this transfer helper save approve with to address this and the amount address swap router because that's what we are transferring I forgot all the time and here we have to say that zero and now we have to call this transfer helper save transfer we have to pass this data message dot sender and the amount in maximum minus amount in so that's the only thing you have to do if it sounds complicated just follow along with me everything will make sense so we have this and now everything is looking fine so with this we are end with this entire smart contract and now we can easily able to swap the token from wet to die because that's what we have defined in the smart contract later we're going to make it more dynamic when we're going to convert it and attach with our front end so we have this license identifier we are using the solidity version and we have this abi coder which allow us to use struct and nested arrays this is the swap router we have the token addresses the first function where to die and that's the second function so let's come here and let's come to this close this one uniswap and close this node modules folders and now